In the earlier days, newspapers were watched over very closely by the British government. The principle then was, the greater the truth, the greater the libel. A case in 1735 established truth as a defense against libel charges. In the New York Weekly Journal, John Peter Zinger printed articles that were critical of government. Though Zinger wrote very few of the articles, since he was the publisher, he was arrested and charged with libel and put in jail. The case was pretty straightforward and simple. If Zinger printed the attacks on the British government he was guilty of libel, even if the statements were true. Andrew Hamilton of Philadelphia defended Zinger. He shocked the crowd when he admitted that Zinger had in fact printed the articles in question. He went on to tell the court that the words themselves had to be false, malicious, and seditious, or else it was not libel. The judge denied Hamilton the right to prove that the facts in the papers were true, so Hamilton appealed to the jury. No one had counted on the will of the people who were represented by the jury, which led to a short deliberation before they announced a not guilty verdict.